Hey there guys, it's DMO73 bringing you another deck profile for the day. This is the mono red cane um, kind of aggressive deck that I was showcasing on Wednesday. Um, let's go ahead and jump right in. So the J ruler or the ruler is Apostle of Creation. You J activate him just by paying one red, and then he becomes Cain, Traitor of Gods, who has first strike, um, generates a magic stone at the start of your main phase just by existing, um, gives all your cognates an extra 200 attack and can pay one red to burn something for 200 damage. So the whole point is you swing in with him pretty much every turn. If he's gonna have to fight something that he can't quite kill with his attack, you just burn it for the extra damage using your spare red stones uh, and then give bonuses to all your cognates. So yeah, so that's how he works. It is a mono red build, so we just run nine uh, magic flame stones and then ghostly flame stone for my list. Um, pretty straightforward there. We're gonna go ahead and focus on the Cognates first. We run four of each. We run four uh, Apostle of Cain. They just have Swiftness. Whenever Cain is put on, and whenever your J Ruler attacked this turn, you gain Swiftness. So like you swing in with Cain, play them, um, and then they gain Swiftness, and then you can attack uh, for an extra 700 damage just right off the bat because they'll have the extra 200 from Cain. Then you have the uh, Jabal the Grand Sire of Nomads, who, if your J Ruler attack this turn, he becomes unblockable. Um, or, sorry, sorry. If, he, if you attack with your J Ruler, he makes it so that something else can't block. So if it's a one for one, or if you have a bunch of these on field, you don't really have to worry about it because you're, uh, you'll be able to just lock down all your different opponent's monsters with the different Jabal effects, and then swing in for all that free damage. And then in the same vein of like eliminating your opponent's threats for Jubal, the Grand Sire of Musicians, um, if your Jade Ruler attacked this turn and she attacks, you get to deal 500 damage to target Resonator. So you can quickly just burn something as well um, that's getting in her way from being able to hit your opponent for damage. So whatever's going to block her, you can just burn it for 500 or something like that. It's pretty powerful. Moving into the other creatures, we run... Uh, four Hunter in Black Forest just for the sake of speed. Having a one drop of swiftness just to kind of get in there real fast and early is always good. Um, for Beowulf, the Blazing Wolf, just because of the fact that again, he can double all the damage that he deals to things so he can put a really, really early pressure on your opponent really fast. Um, to spawn a blazer, uh, this is because we run some dragons for kind of like an end game kind of countdown. So this is a way for you to get to those kind of quicker if you have the ability. Only run two because you don't want to rely on it, but it is kind of there as like a nice additional tech that you could potentially use. Um, pretty optional I'd say overall. You could replace these with some other kind of spell or another kind of drop, like a split heaven and earth if you wanted to do some burn damage. Um, but I tried to stick with a more monster heavy route. And then three, uh, two Little Dread, the Fake Red Moon, just to be able to um, deal some additional damage, steal something, re-recover something, kind of put pressure on board middle to late game too, uh, is, is always really powerful. And then the Dragon Package, which is two Gilderai and two Blazer. They can bring themselves back, they both have Swiftness, Gilderai has Flying. These guys are kind of like your countdown card, so like if your opponent manages to let you get to Pull, draw the game out long enough that you're able to just generate that free mana with Kane. These are your kind of like, well, that's too bad. Now my big creatures are gonna come out and start really wrecking your face. Um, and the fact that they're recyclable is just, is really, really powerful. Moving on to the spell lineup. Um, we run two rapid decays because early removal of the small creatures is really important. So you wanna be able to do that quickly with like one drops. Um, so if something's standing in your way in the first couple turns, you can just kill it regardless of what its stats are. Uh, same for Thunders, four of them, um, as well as being able to potentially burn your opponent to finish off the game. Like if you can't quite get there before they're able to mount a defense, uh, then you can use the Thunders to finish them off um, without having to deal with their resonators. Um, three Crime and Punishment for dealing with big creatures that your opponent plays, um, especially J Rulers that are a problem because your J their J Ruler swings in, you drop Crime and Punishment, and it just immediately gets killed. Um, so this is like a good, really, really good response card uh, for dealing with problems that are going to get in the way of you finishing the game or cracking back at your opponent once they J-activate is, is really, really powerful. And then lastly, just as a nice little finisher, a couple of poison apples to be able to just kind of tack it on to a resonator to just finish the game when your opponent's not expecting it. Just to close in that last bit of, bit of damage that you need. 
I mean, especially powerful is to do it with Beowulf, because Beowulf then, with one attack, can do 2600 damage, which is over half your opponent's life. So you could potentially end the game on turn 4, or even turn 3 based on your draws, um, to, to just really seal in the damage there really fast. So yeah, that is the deck, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Tell me what you thought about the deck down below, what you would change, what you would add in, what you'd take out. Um, whether or not this is something that you think you would even run. Um, and as always, check back in next week for another uh, feature match on Wednesday. And until that time, go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. And this is DM073, signing off.